Hey, it's Joel. I'm in spring break capital of the world, New Orleans, Louisiana, and I'm with my buddy John Baumgartner. How you doing? Call me Bum, please. Oh, of course. Bum, of course. And Bum is the head equipment manager for the Saints. Touchdown! And it's crazy that I'm here because you, as head equipment manager, utilize 3D printing to help keep the players safe while they're working out, while they're playing, all of it, right? We're about a year into it now, and we've been able to come up with a lot of cool things uh, to help protect a lot of different areas of the body. Almost anywhere um, you want to be protected, I can make that happen using this stuff. We're 3D printing. <laughs> yeah. I can see a Bamboo Lab X1 carbon here, right? Correct. Okay. Yep. What materials are you running in this? We're running a basic PLA filament here, a PET G here, and a TPU filament right here. That's a lot of choices for what you're doing, right? It is, it is. It gives us a lot of flexibility to do a lot of things just based off of what we want to try to accomplish. You know, if we need a hard pad, we'll use our rigid uh, filament. A moderate flex uh, for something that's got a little, we need a little bit of give for better impact protection. And then our TPU filament, which is very flexible. Uh, and gives us the ability to still protect and be able to move body parts around. Oh, that stuff, makes sense. So. And you mentioned that you can also do it without having the player needing to remove their pads, which is very advantageous in game time scenarios because you don't want to have to uh, have them undress. They could miss plays. Correct. Yes, this gives us the ability to pre-make anything in a situation like that to where we don't have time. First, how do you make the pads? I see a laptop here. And is this the start of it? Okay, we use Exo Armor technology, the 3D printer technology, the software, the scanner, everything comes from Exo Armor. You would come in, draw around the area of where you want protected, and then we'll hit it with this scanner. Okay. This scanner then sends that scan to this laptop. We go onto the laptop and using the Exo Armor software, we can clean that scan up and develop things like you see up here. So drawing on the skin though, allows you to see within the software the padding should go exactly here and then the software then creates that you print it out and these are what they they look like right correct here. correct okay can i try this yeah okay now as a, as a rigid thing this really immobilizes my thumb and what what uh, just a strap here to keep it together So that could be velcro strap um whatever whatever fits your need honestly it could be zip ties uh no, zip ties sure it could be a shoelace yeah i didn't know the nfl was very diy Oh yeah. oh yeah, it's very custom. Everything is custom these days. Now something like this, is this for practice? Is this in game? What sort of padding and, and immobilizer is this? So this, this would be um, practice and game, just depending on the injury. Um, and what we would do to this though, uh, is pad it with some of our uh, D3O. So it's this stuff right here. We add the 3M adhesive to the back. Okay, and it's, so it's not a neoprene, right? No. Like, you know, that wetsuit, it, yeah. it has almost a wetsuit style yeah. feel nope. to it, but it's a little bit more dense. Yep. And so you can put this on the inside. Yep. Oh, I see. And then it's a lot more comfortable yep. against my skin, yep. right? Just like that, huh? You want to try it? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Don't try this at home. Ready? Ready. I can't believe that worked. I'm safe. Cool stuff. That is really cool yeah. stuff. This is the, the PLA material, right? Correct. That's super resilient, and that D3O makes a huge difference. Correct. You can't feel a thing. It's like you're bulletproof. And this is pennies worth of material padded with this. For you, like traditionally, before 3D printing, if you were to make something like this, that would probably would, cost a couple hundred bucks. A couple hundred bucks? Yep. It's a lot. Okay, this is cool. Take me through these pads and kind of show me some of the stuff that you've been able to do here at the Saints. For sure. Um, these are just some of the more common things uh, we've encountered. A lot of ribs. This is a TPU filament. Uh, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's nice and flexible. And rib, right? So... Correct. There we go here. Ah, the side, yeah. my ribs, of Where course. my expertise comes in is the attachment process, whether it's a shirt or on the shoulder pad itself. Oh, yeah. With this, then, you've got varying ways to be able to attach this to the player. Correct, correct. I use a lot of Velcro, um, but this is another example of something we've made in here. Okay. Um, this would be shoulder. This would be your AC joint on AC. your shoulder. This little that. bump right here. Yeah. Oh, I got one of those. Yep. So this is a basic padded shoulder shirt. We add the Velcro to it. We add the Velcro to this. Is this sewn in, taped in? Uh, it's top secret. That's classified. This material here is flexible enough though to be comfortable under your pads compared to the regular PLA, the rigid. I see. This is a, um, 
a thigh. Same concept as the other thing. Added a little bit of padding under this compression short uh, and then the ability to custom put place this anywhere. Oh, I see. The leg, whatever. The well, with this sort of um, work up here, you've got the, like you said, to place it anywhere. Oh, it's lower, it's higher. It's, custom. you can you can customize Wherever you need. for what the player Wherever needs. Wherever you need, your body. You got thumb guards, you know, whatever. How big, however big you need it. Those thumbs kind of stick out. So uh, players, I would imagine these are prone to being a beat up a little bit. Beat up a yeah. lot. Now uh, this one though, can we take a look at this? So half the battle is just enticing players to wear something. You know, nobody really likes to wear extra padding. Uh, they, they feel it, like they're not as fast and, and cool looking. Sure. So I tried to make it cool. Yeah, but this is cool. Well, like uh, my example is there's a reason they put Snoopy on Band-Aids, right? Yep, absolutely. Like you want to you make it personal, bespoke and custom yep. and you could yep. customize the heck you out of these do things anything. for players. So uh, just another tool in the toolbox I can continue to use on other players that might have the same issue in the future. With this, um, you did this to your foot because you had an idea, right? Correct. That's crafted to my ankle, my foot. Top secret project I'm working on right now. Uh, oh, well, mom's still the in the works right now, but... Um, but utilizing that tool, that Exo Armor tool, is what allowed you to do this? Yes, absolutely. I, I was able to scan my own foot with that and uh, create that. Now, you've been doing this. Like, 3D printing for you has been just a little more than a year. And in that time, have you noticed a, a change in what you and people in the equipment side are able to offer the players. In the past, before this, we were restricted to whatever you know the, the major manufacturers had. You know, it's more your common spots, your ribs and your shoulders. That's what's changed is like, I can literally make a pad for any part of your body right now. Compared to what we had in the past is where you just, whatever the companies had is, is what you had. Oh, and you had to have whatever stock was on hand too. And if yeah. you didn't have something in the player, like if it was a game and a player needed something and you didn't yeah. have it, like you're yeah. out of luck. Guy loses something, something breaks, you know, uh, I have the ability to remake it here. Coaches can get angry at times, I've seen. You start printing some clipboards. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? So in doing this for the year plus, obviously you've made some head roads and it's really cool. But as, as someone who's been an equipment manager for some time even before 3D printing, do you view your position as, as taking a different path now that 3D printing is a part of it? I do see it um, changing things, not just the padding, but you know, it's, it's opened my eyes to a whole nother world of you know, injury prevention, uh, the treatment of injuries, I'd say more injury related stuff than I've, I've dealt with in the past. I want to even take it to a next level pads aren't just the only equipment that you manage because players have other other in-game padding they've got their cleats there's helmets helmets are already using 3d printing technology and the padding in them yep. i feel like your world is just about to open even further i think so i think one day uh, you'll probably see us printing our own shoulder pads and pretty much everything anything <laughs> that, that a player Whereas that's plastic, I, I envision it being made in-house. Well, you as the equipment manager would have the ability to make it specific for a player, and in turn, it helps them wear that better and then maybe even perform better. Correct, correct. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Right. Well, this has been a fantastic look at Additive at the Saints here, and I'm just really thankful you let us come here. And it's customary that for anybody that I've got on camera, I always offer them the ability to tell people where they can go to find out more. Let everybody know where they can find out more about the Saints. NewOrleansaints.com. Brilliant. All right, well, thanks for watching. If you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for cause you believe in. Print all the practical things. And as always, high five. You want one? Sure. Ooh. That was a good one. Ooh. You want more? Get more.